One lens for the rest of your life? What's up? Welcome back. If it's your first time here, my name's Lewis, also known as Mr. Camera Junkie. I'm a photographer based out of Hollywood, Florida. And today we're going to be talking about the Zeiss 55 F 1.8 from Sony. I recently came across this question on Facebook. If you could only use one lens for the rest of your life, what lens and why? This question is constantly being asked throughout millions of photography groups all over the internet. My answer is the Zeiss 55mm F 1.8 from the Sony E-mount system. And here's why. The question is what lens would you use, not which camera. This lens is designed for full frame, but can also be used with APS-C cameras. That's because Sony designed a single mount for their full frame APS-C and even cinema line cameras. This means that I can use this lens on a wide range of camera bodies. Now, the 50mm focal length is probably the most manufactured focal length in the history of focal lengths. That's probably because the 50mm is considered to be the closest to what the human eye sees. And this focal length is extremely versatile. It has been used in street photography, portrait photography, well, yeah, environmental portraits, landscapes, and a variety of different genres. This lens is just a bit tighter at 55 millimeters. The aperture at f1.8 is great for low light photography. It's not the fastest lens, but what it loses in speed, it gains in compactness. Is that even a word? It's a great size lens. It fits nicely on either full frame or APS-C. When I pair it with my A6100, it gives me an equivalent focal length of 82.5, which is a great focal length for portrait photography. Being said that the 80mm or 85mm is preferred by most portrait photographers and is great for video with its fast and silent autofocus. Another thing that amazes me every time that I use this lens is the picture quality and the sharpness even wide open at f1.8. I love the way this lens saturates colors and skin tones always look pleasing with a hint of warmth. It weighs in at 281 grams and 71 millimeters in length. Why don't we measure more things in millimeters? 71 millimeters sounds a lot better than 2.8 inches. Just saying. So as of January 2021, wow, we're in 2021. If I had to use just one lens for the rest of my life, my choice is the Zeiss 55mm f1.8. Let me know your favorite in a comment down below. Not that I couldn't change my mind in the future. I'm very happy with the choice of camera bodies available right now. I'm also very happy that it's all hypothetical. Interchangeable lens cameras allow us to change to a bunch of different lenses, giving us the ability to be more creative with photography and video. I can't wait to see what new cameras come out in the future. I love adapting my vintage lenses onto my modern mirrorless cameras and applying all of the characteristics of vintage glass onto modern sensors. But that's a subject for another video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for buying a Camera Junkie t-shirt. Like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.